champions, we got a brand new character and it is Alistair Black, Fade to Black. He is a character that we're going to get a free trial, which is the first time they tried that. And we're going to get to play with him today. Uh, everyone's going to get him. You can recruit him. You are going to get enough shards to uh, get all his moves maxed out. You'll get it at five star bronze like I do right now. And uh, you just use your coins to level his level. And as you level him, you get your coins back. So you don't actually need like 50 million coins to do it. You just use a few coins, then you claim the milestone that gets you coins back and figure it out by now that you use coin, you get coin and pretty much get all your coins back to max him out free. And then you get the tour and get whatever rewards there is there. And later on, they're going to remove him. And uh, then if you want him, either you manage to get him from that, uh, from the event, or you just pull and try to get him like any other guys. So let's get on with it. He is a trickster. And from what I was told, he is freaking OP. And it does look like it from what I see in this moves. Uh, coach ability, well, it... Well, on the free version, there's nothing. <laughs> on the real version, it is 20% less damage from yellow, I believe. But yeah, it's not showing on the free version here. Uh, links with Zombie, Zombie 2020, and Modern Era, and one set of gear. Now, the first moveset we're going to have a look at. It is the Blackout Rush Finisher. Well, 10 MP purple move. Finisher deals 303,000 damage and stun yourself for two turns. Yes, you read that right. Stun yourself for two turns. But if you equip a stun resist belt, that means you get 303 damage and you do not stun yourself. So if you have one of those, and I do have one laying around, I've been saving for a good trickster uh, and was thinking on putting it on a biggie. Uh, since I already got my bleed immune on NWO Ogun, or maybe swap him, I don't know. Uh, maybe put put it on Ogun, but if I manage to get him, which I'm not too confident I will, but for the preview, I'm probably going to put him on him, just so I can show you with the stun resist how it goes. So we're going to try the first one without any belt on, so that we can see how it goes if you don't have the belt, because, I mean, let's face it, those are freaking rare, and most people are not going to have him. Although it was from a milestone reward, so I guess a lot of people got it. But anyway, we're going to go the first time without any belt. And we're going to do the same thing again with the belt after. Now, other moves. Call of Tulu, 7 MP green move. Submission, generate 53 random submission gems. And do 8600 damage for 5 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gem turn into sounds gem. Now, obviously we're making 53 sub gems. There's only 49 boards, uh, 49 uh, gems on the board, so that's more than that. But then again, Woken was doing like 77 back then, and it was also 49 boards. So four are not going to be useful, obviously. Uh, Whiplash moves, Moonsault, 8 MP green move, deal 38.8k damage, and choose a five gems to make into purple gems. Now, what we're going to do with that is we're going to open up with the submission to drain the MP from our, our opponent. Then we're going to use the Whiplash Moonsault to fill our purple, and then we're going to use the purple. Now, the submission here is rather important, uh, if especially if you don't have the belt, because it's going to drain the MP of your opponent, so he doesn't get any move off while the two turns that you're going to be stunned. Uh, if you do have the stun belt, not as important, but still pretty useful to just have him not do any moves. Now, the, the trainers we're going to use for that is Steel to start with more green. We're going to have Big Show here so that the finisher is going to do 440k damage instead, which is a lot. <laughs> we're going to use All of Fame Eddie and Ogun to create two more purple gem. That way we don't have to use Daniel Bryan as a uh, trainer. If you don't have those two, you might want to go with Daniel Bryan. But, I mean, even if you make only five, if you play them well... You can definitely, like, you could use DX, uh, Shawn Michaels, so that you get more purple, or NW Ogun would do that too, but DX Shawn Michaels is much more common. Uh, 
If you place those five correctly, that could be more than enough to get your 10 that you need. All right, let's stop talking. Let's start showing. We're gonna go versus Ricochet, which is uh, equipped with a strap. I went on purpose with someone that is beefed up and a good character, because I wanna see how he does. I got 15% more health, 15% more damage from the faction buffs. Uh, bleed move do 15% more damage. In this case, won't have any effect. Take 10% less from all color move. That's standard. 20% uh, health. All color move start with 3 MP and color match plus 2. Those are the MLC perks. As far as he goes, well, he's got that 46% uh, gem damage, uh, gem reduction right there, or 41 of other colors, actually more 41 for every and 46 versus red. So he's going to be soaking up a lot of that gem damage, but none of my damage comes from gem damage. So let's do this. All right. So we're going to do the submission first. Now he has a coach that reduced my submission turns, but don't really care. Obviously can get out of all of them anyway. Now I only need 5 MP. I'm going to be making 7 gems. That means I basically just need to make one match. And since I don't want my turn to end, We'll just make those two and put some elsewhere. Like we're going to replace some green blue that he uses. I don't need more matches than that. I don't want to risk ending my turn, which I did anyway. Damn it. Probably should have gone only for one. My bar were so far away. <laughs> This looks pretty cool. I'm gonna be stunned for two turns, but I did do a nice chunk of damage right there. And he did not even kick out of that. I, and not even close even. <laughs> I mean, it is a lot of damage. And we're gonna put on the stun resist gem, uh, for stun resist belt. Uh, I, I thought it would be needed more than that. <laughs> All right, let's check. All right, so did not see, seem needed at all after all, but I'm guessing sometime they're going to kick out of it. So I equipped my uh, Trickster Stun Resist for Modern that I had like for weeks, if not months now. Uh, I don't have anything unlocked on it because I'm running low on... Uh, on belt parts and uh, I didn't know when I was going to use it so let's just do this same setup everything just with a stun resist this time animation is pretty cool all right let's do the submission to drain his MP Obviously, if there wasn't any perks or anything, you would need a green match to get going. Okay. Let's not do the same thing we did the last time and only do a single match. And I'll just replace his blues. We really don't need Ogun and uh, Eddie either. Normally five is going to be more than enough. But if you don't have perks, it's useful there. Right, let's do that finisher. He does have move uh, reduce, so it's only going to do 385, which is still a lot. Down from 440, but still, it's a lot. And it takes half his health, so the chances of them getting out of it... I mean, even in this case, he didn't get out of it, so... 
Really, that stun belt is not as needed as I thought it would. Which is a good thing. <laughs> I'm guessing if you go against a showboat, maybe. But then again, showboat can kick out of anything. Someone having double... Uh, double vitality, maybe. <laughs> Alright, let's look at something else. All right, another move set similar to the one we just saw, except we're switching the finisher. So we're gonna key in the Call of Tulu 7 MP green move sub, generate 53 random submission gems and do 8600 damage for five turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into silent gem, the Whiplash Moon Salt, 8 MP Green Move, deal 38.8k damage and choose 5 gems to make into purple gems. But instead of the finisher, we're going to use the Blackened Mass, which is the 5-star uh, move right there. It is a 3 MP Purple Move, deal 22.9k damage and make 47 Silence Gems into green. Basically, the submission is going to put all those Silence gem on the board and then we're going to turn all of them into green probably doing a shit ton of damage trainers we're going to use steel to start with more green booker to uh, have green gems do 35 percent more damage could you could you stardust does this is the same thing could even use uh is it uh i think it's uh trickster kane that uh does 35 percent more silence gem damage uh, since it's all going to be silent gem anyway I like Booker better or Stardust because it's greens and you might be matching some greens on the board that are not silenced. So, I mean, probably very small difference, but anyone has Booker anyway, so may as well go with him unless he's not leveled. Uh, coaches, I got Eddie and Ogan, kind of like we saw in the previous set. I mean, it, this is not even going to be needed. I mean... The purple cost three it's just basically because there's really no need for coaches if you add John johnny gargano that would definitely be the trainer to put in there but i don't have him so i can't put him there all right let's go i really like the look that he, he's got looks pretty damn good all right, so we are gonna do the submission. Right now we are gonna do the black and mass. If you put a strap with plus green damage on this, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> he kicked out. I'm up. I don't want to my I don't want my turn to end again so let's just waste the extra that's why I'm saying that you don't need Ogin and you don't need all of fame Eddie because I'm wasting them anyway because I don't want to risk an early pin there's really no need for just a few extra damage Wow, it's raining a lot outside. Hopefully I'm not gonna lose power. <laughs> All right, let's turn those into greens. If you put the right uh, metals and everything, that's double the damage you get out of that. I mean, this obviously works. 
but I mean it's nowhere near what the other uh, what the first move set was. Again, I don't want to risk my turn ending. Let's play it safe. Which we almost got screwed anyway. <laughs> Let's do submission. I mean, he doesn't get to do much. Even if he reduced my submission, since he has a coach. Normally it should be five turns, not two. Which kind of works in my favor, because that means I got more silence that stays on the board. Okay, let's get out of that. Let's convert what remains into green. This time it doesn't he doesn't kick out. I mean this works really well. But the first set was so OP that it almost made this one looks bad. Even though it's much better than a lot of characters. It's really good, but I mean it's just the first one so OP, so. Let's look at something completely different now. Alright, next move set, completely different. This one is gonna be the purple two, which is the brain buster of sorrow one MP purple move. Deal 9.6k damage and make three random gems into red gems. So you can do this every single turn. The knee that should not be four MP red move, deal 25k damage and deal 54.8k bleed damage to your opponent for two turns. And the jump in the fire, 4 MP red turn, red move, steal up to 62,000 health. So basically, you might be able to do all three moves every turn if you're lucky. Now, the trainers for that, big jump stun so you create more reds. Shield set so that your bleed does more damage. You could use also Roman, uh, Roman shield to increase the steal health, kind of like the bleed more. Uh, carry Sane here to uh, increase the bleed damage and as another coach normally ideally you would want to have Daniel Bryan zombie which would increase the steel out but I don't have him you could also use a uh, Finn Balor zombie which does that too but to only 10% uh, in my case I went with all of fame Lita since she adds an extra red right there we're gonna go versus Ricochet again Thanks to the to the to the uh, perks, we got everything ready right away. So we're gonna use boat reds. We got the bleed going. Let's just do the steel out to steel out. Not that I need it, but it takes it away from him. Now we're gonna use this and hopefully get a red match. That'd be nice. We did. That means we can add another stack of bleed. Now we can steal more health. Again, we don't need it, but it takes it away from him. And uh, let's make more. We got pretty lucky on that turn. Even reloaded the purple. <laughs> This is obviously the end of my turn. He's going to get two stacks of bleed right there. That drained a lot of his health. There you go. And it almost took everything he had left. I'm going to put another stack of bleed right there. Although the others might have ran away, ran out by now. Uh, we're going to steal the very little health he has left. And match some red. Let's see if we are, we're gonna get some uh, come back. We did get a match. At this point, we just need the 
the match to end. I could put more bleed and I could put steal more health, but neither would do anything since he doesn't have any health back. So we're just going to use this. And it's over. This was like... I knew this was going to be good. I didn't think it was going to be this good. This worked out really damn well. I did not expect it would be that good. All right, well, uh, well, let's look at one more move set. All right, let's look at a last one. We're gonna have the Black and Mass, which is three MP purple move, deal 22.9k damage and make 49, 47 silence gems into green gems. Oh my cat doing. Denny, that should not be. 4 MP red move, deal 24.9k damage and deal 54.8k bleed damage to your opponent for two turns. And the Call of Tulu, 7 MP green move, submission generate 53 random submission gems and do 8600 damage for five turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into sand gems. So basically an hybrid of everything we saw. We're gonna have the bleed doing damage, plus we're gonna put in that submission to uh, get those uh, those hands gems on the board and then turn them. So an hybrid of what we just saw. Trainers for that, we're going to have Steel and uh, a Shield set to do more bleed again. We're going to have Carry again to do more bleed. And normally you would want again uh, Gargano, which I don't have. So I put in a Enlio Ogun, which you really don't need whatsoever, but I didn't want to leave the slot empty. So let's do this versus Ricochet. Right, we're gonna put on that bleed. Uh, we'll put the submission, which is gonna do its bleed damage. Now again, he's got the submission reduced, so that means it's only gonna last two turns instead of five, which is actually a good thing for us because it means more are gonna remain on the board. Now we're going to convert them into green. Got lucky that it refilled our red as well. means we can put the bleed again with the submission And then we convert them into greens. And you would want to strap with some plus green gem damage in there. Got some red there. I mean, this worked really well. I didn't think it was going to be work that well again. I knew it was going to work pretty well, but not that good i mean this was clearly sped up uh, because of the red match we got but again we got it on the second as well so i guess it's not as rare as you would think it would so that is pretty much it as far as builds for alistair he is extremely good definitely uh, not a top tier character but a god tier character really really good so again, he gets released officially on Friday. You can try it now until then. Earn him, maybe if you're super lucky. Otherwise, you're going to need to pull for him, which I'm guessing is probably not going to be an easy one to get considering how good he is. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Ciao.